So I just thought I'd share uh, an addition to my uh, EDC um, notebook and uh, and pens, which I've uh, I've showed in a previous video. But if you haven't watched that video, um, I've got uh, a Caveco, uh, Caveco Lilliput even brass fountain pen, which goes with me everywhere. Um, also, I carry with me the uh, 5.6 clutch lead carrier pencil whatever you want to call it and also a blending stick um, these are obviously if I, if I fancy sketching or drawing or if i'm just writing um but i found obviously fountain pens are not fantastic on cheap paper um luckily my notebook uh, has decent paper in it so you can write with a fountain pen but uh, find at work sometimes you don't always have decent paper to write with so i thought i'd go with a ballpoint pen and for that, I've chosen the, uh, the uh, I would say iconic, I would probably use as a word, um, Parker Jotter. Um, I've gone for an Oxford pinstripe. Um, I've got a couple of stainless steel ones, but I fancied um, something slightly different and a bit more a bit more elegant, shall we say. So I went for the Oxford pinstripe in the end. Um, really quite like the Jotter. So it's a nice, it's not a massive pen. Um, it's, it's, it's perfectly good for carrying in your pocket if you really wanted to. Um, I always like to have a, have a pouch for my pens um, so they don't bounce around and get scratched to death with my keys in my pocket. Um, nice little pen to write with, uh, very good for quick taking, taking quick notes at work. In the refill I have in this, um, I don't know whether this is going to come up on the camera or not, is the uh, is a bold. I managed to find myself a Parker Quink bold refill. As I've had the fines and the mediums, but I find I just fancy a little thicker line sometimes when I'm writing. Um, and this is what uh, I've managed to find one from uh, Colt Pens, I believe. They had the bold refill. But I've also purchased recently the Mechanical Pencil Jotter. I've got various mechanical pencils by Rotring and another and Derwent, I think, but I fancied the Jotter to go with it, so I've got a matching pair. Um, again, nice slim line pen, very lightweight, um, all steel construction, so never going to have any real major problems with it unless you're a, an absolute animal. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd, uh, I'd share the addition to my EDCs. Um, nice little writer, we'll do a quick writing sample, uh, and that's it. So uh, we'll, we'll jot something down using a jotter so this is a parker jotter oxford pinstripe with a bold quink flow refill Nice smooth writer, um, nice clear line, as you can see. So yeah, really pleased with that. That goes with me everywhere. And we'll do a quick uh, quick writing sample with a pencil, even though I'm sure you don't need to see it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So get a bit of lead coming out of there. So this is the... Oh, snap the lead. There you go, a bit too much. Parker. Got to... Pencil. I think it's got a HB lead in it. Yeah, very nice pen to write with. I'm sure if the tactical pen people amongst you, that'd probably be a good stabbing point. Not that I'm going to go around stabbing people, but you never know. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Um, I'm sure I'll post some more about some extra EDC stuff I add sooner or later. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you on another video. Cheers.